Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the quote unquote death of Kurama, better known as the Nine Tails, who is in fact not dead in the Boruto manga and anime. But before we get into the video, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and if you would like to also help this channel to continue to grow and to provide you guys with quality content on a consistent basis, please head over to my Patreon and become a member of my Patreon account. The link to my Patreon is in the description box and in my bio. Now let's get back into the video. The death of Kurama or the Nine Tails, a mythical being of legend and a very important figure and staple in the Naruto universe. Taking place in chapter 55 in the Boruto manga in episode 218, in the Boruto anime. And I'll be honest, I don't normally watch Boruto, but when watching the clip and scene of Kurama's death, it was honestly just a little too emotional for me to stomach, so I, I didn't watch it all the way. And I do think that this is a major curveball in the franchise. But let's be clear, be that as it may, Kurama is not dead. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but tailed beasts are nothing more than chakra taken physical form. And thus, as explained, they cannot die. What, what Kurama really means is that by the time his chakra takes full form again, and he comes back to life in his original body, Naruto will have been long dead. Naruto will have already been dead a long time. As it takes years, possibly even close to a hundred or longer, for a killed biju to regenerate itself. Using the word kill in air quotations. And I don't know who the new writers are on Boruto, but in my personal opinion, I find it rather cheap and very lazy for them to feel the need to nerf Naruto and Sasuke to such a degree or even at all just so Boruto can shine. But then again, it's not like I expect greatness from Boruto anyway, so whatever, I digress. And I'm not also sure if you guys remember the Gold and Silver Brothers, Kenkaku and Genkaku, who both possess parts of the Nine Tails Chakra, who we were introduced to in the fourth Shinobi War arc that Kabuto revived using the Ido Tensei. And even though Kabuto released the Ido Tensei Jutsu, Genkaku and Kenkaku were sealed inside one of the Sage of Six Paths holy items which that specific holy item I believe is in the possession of the Hidden Sound Village. And Naruto can simply release Kenkaku and Genkaku and extract Kurama's chakra from the both of them and insert it into himself. You know, like how a reanimated Minato gave his Ninetale chakra to Naruto. And if Naruto wanted to be thorough, he could collect the remnants of the Ninetale's chakra after he's obtained the power from the Gold and Silver Brothers, kind of like Sora and his father did. And if you guys don't know who Sora is, Sora is the mock or fake Ninetales Genshiriki. I'll post the card above to the video. Go and watch that video after this one. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Kurama is not dead. And that marks it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about Kurama dying and Naruto taking the Ninetales chakra from Kenkaku and Genkaku in the comment section below. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.